In the past, the grid was fairly static and modifications to it were few and far between. Energy flowed from generation to transmission with less data points and digital devices. But today, the grid is becoming increasingly dynamic. With the introduction of renewable energy sources, digitalization, grid modernization, and new technologies, the grid is under pressure like never before. Changes to the grid are required more often, considering more data and with increasing complexity. Traditionally, the planning for grid changes starts many years in advance. To keep track of project files and changes over time, power system planners would maintain and store the various project files separately using manual or homegrown processes. To run a simulation study considering all the different data sets, they would need to repetitively search and collect all the files each time, leading to workflow inefficiencies and model inaccuracies. Now, with time-based modeling in the PSS Network Model Management Tools, planners can efficiently and accurately plan for more grid changes at one time and deal with increasing complexity since all the necessary data is in one location. Let's take a look at time-based modeling in action. This is PSS ODMS. On the far left, the Manage Projects window lists all the projects and the associated phases. In addition, all created scenarios are listed here. On the right, a single-line diagram provides an overview on the base network. To see more about projects, click Projects and select the project name. Here you can see additional data like the project type, project state, and more. With the Informational tab, you can view the commission and in-service dates and other project-related details. Projects can also be viewed in the PSS Timeline module. Just click Model, Projects, View Timeline. With this view, you can see projects based on their commission dates. Projects usually have several phases. For the purpose of this demo, our project will have three phases, East Breakers, Sub Breakers, and East Subline. To find information about the model changes, click the project, then click the phase in the Manage Projects window. If we sort by action, we see the first three lines show two terminals and an AC line segment were added into the model and their properties changed. Here, the name of the AC line segment changed from original value to a new value of 1. Under the Scenarios tab in the Manage Projects window, we see several existing scenarios along with their related projects and phases. Let's create a new scenario. Right-click Scenarios and select New Scenario. Give your scenario a name and choose the start and end dates. All projects within those dates will be included in your scenario automatically. In this example, two projects and six phases will be included. Click OK and the new scenario appears. Now let's create another scenario with a larger time span. In this time period, four projects and nine phases will be included in the scenario. Click OK. Once the scenario appears, you can double check to be sure everything is included by clicking the drop down arrow near the scenario. The project in this scenario is to add a new AC line from the bus bar to substation east. Let's activate the scenario. Right click it, choose Activate Scenario and notice the changes in the single line diagram. The phases in this project are to add two switches and an AC line segment. Here we can see these changes in green. The base model remains white. Now let's build a case. Choose Analysis, Build Case. Click Next through the windows and then click Finish. To solve the power flow, click here. The changes from this scenario are also included in the solution. Choose Analysis, Close Case to close it. To switch back to the base model, deactivate the scenario. Right-click it and choose Deactivate Scenario. If you'd like to export the changes for each phase separately, right-click the phase and choose Export Model Changes. PSS ODMS will export an incremental XML so you can easily exchange data with other systems. 
Once commissioning dates for phases are reached, you can incorporate the related changes into the base network model. To do this, right-click the phase and choose Commit to Model. That concludes the demonstration of time-based modeling in action within PSS ODMS. Time-based modeling has lots of benefits. You can reduce the time spent searching for project data, easily plan, maintain, and track several projects over time, and increase the accuracy of simulation data and network models. A dynamic grid requires a powerful tool to support the work and the decisions you make today so that future projects are successful. Time-based modeling in the PSS Network Model Management Tools will do just that.